Two Bends is sponsored by Paul Ceremi Auto Group, the cheaper dealer. Well, Ben, you've heard of driving Miss Daisy. Today we're driving Mr. Gould, apparently. Derek Gould joining us here on Two Bends in a Car. What an awesome car we're in, the Ford Edge. We've upgraded. We have upgraded the Ford Edge, Paul Ceremi Auto Group, the cheaper and do you know you can get this for just $389 a month leasing at Paul Ceramy, the cheaper dealer. Derek, welcome to Two Beds in the Car. Thanks, thanks, thanks for the ride, guys. It's nice to be along. The reason Long time he's... watcher, first time guest. <laughs> welcome. You're the first guest since Barry Odom. That's Big... right. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Well, we went to Mizzou at the same time, so yeah. we've each gone different directions in our careers, clearly. Yeah, we only try to get guests, Derek, who were uh, at the University of Missouri in the mid 1990s. So your, your pool we, is limited. The pool is limited. <laughs> no, we appreciate you joining us today. We're actually taking Derek to the airport. Uh, we're basically his Uber drivers, his chauffeurs. Uh, well, I thought that was weird when I Ubered and you guys showed up. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of, it was a good timing. Yeah, it was a good time, a good time. So thanks for joining us here on the, I guess thanks for joining us. Uh, by the way, you're welcome. We're taking you to the airport. Uh, so what, do you, what are your thoughts on Cardinal Spring Train? You're going to Jupiter, Florida. You're the Cardinal beat rider for the Post-Dispatch. Mm -hmm. Looking into the season, what, what are the storylines? Well, there's a lot that they want to accomplish in spring training, but nothing that like sings out because once they arrive in spring training and as they go through it, you know, you kind of knew, like even in winter warm, you kind of had this feel as to what the 25 man roster was yeah. going to look like. You could put a pin on individual names and say, all right, well, that guy's likely going to be there when they open in Pittsburgh. So there weren't these like questions that sing out about spring training. So it's more about how things develop. You know, what what do they do with the lineup? How does that look at the beginning of spring, and how does that then evolve through the course of games? You know, you know going down there that they have an all-star leadoff hitter in Matt Carpenter. Does he arrive at opening day as the leadoff hitter? Yeah. What does second base look like, and how do they do a timeshare there with Jed Jerko and Colton Wong? You know, and then health. Health is always a question. You know, how they arrive at spring training. What's Wayne Wright ready to do? What is Carlos Martinez ready to do? Michael Waka, the, the Marco Gonzalez. Yeah. And then, of course, who, you know, what crops up during spring training that limits guys that they are counting on. So here's a question for both of you guys, oh, if okay. I may. Sorry to interrupt, Paul, but this is an important one. Who's going to lead the Cardinals in home runs? Is it Mike Leak, the hitting pitcher? I mean, I mean, Adam Wainwright. Adam like Wainwright, that, yeah. Mike. But in all honesty, I, I think it's going to be Randall Grichik. Who, who do you guys think is going to lead the Cardinals in home runs? I just would worry about the Mike Leak. And bats. It's not going to have as many at bats. That's good. Sense. Maybe uh, Saber, home, that's saber metrics. Yeah, so home runs per at bats. Yeah. Yeah. He's going to lead the team. I'm going to go with Holiday. I think Bad Holiday, Holiday. Um, gets back and has a little pop left in him. Uh, I guess my second choice would be um, Brandon Moss. Brandon Moss is the guy a lot of project, projectors are projecting. I don't know that Cardinal fans expect uh, Brandon Moss to hit as many home runs as the numbers <laughs> that are projecting him. Well, they might not even project him to start. Yeah, so that's great the thing point. Is Matt Adams right. is coming back this year. Uh, we've seen Matt Adams for years prior. I mean, what's your take on the well, – first of all, who do you think is going to lead in home runs? Second of all, what's your take on the first base battle? Honestly, there? two years ago, the guy who led the team in home runs was Johnny Peralta. This past year was Matt Carpenter, so the left side of the infield really well represented. Yeah. Probably surprise picks. I think maybe this year there's probably a little bit more traditional pick to go with. Uh, go with the guy who's a slugger who's going to make the most playing time and go with Gritchick. Uh, I think it's more likely you know, that several guys have 18-plus home runs as opposed to one guy goes gonzo and hits 30 home runs. And what about the first base competition? Brandon Moss, Matt Adams, both left-handed hitters. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the GM and the staff likes both players, but only one can play first base. At the, at the time, yeah. But they, I think you know that's not something that necessarily has to be answered in spring. In fact, probably shouldn't. Uh, you know, that's something that can develop over April, May, because the Cardinals are going to have to understand and learn what kind of roster they have, what kind of production they have, and part of that is giving these guys a chance, but going with the guy, you know, it's a simple thing, like, he who hits most, plays most, and, you know, Brandon Moss might get the edge going into spring, coming out of spring, but that doesn't leave Matt Adams as a bench player, if he gets a chance to play, or takes off, or, you know, if something happens in the outfield, if the scout, he's playing first base, and you know, all these things are part of what the Cardinals want to see over the first few months of the season, in order to then determine what moves they need to make come June, come July. I think that I think like first base 
and even the lineup to a certain extent are going to be a little bit more fluid until somebody really catches fire, if anybody catches fire. Mm. All right, Derek, hardest hitting question. If you're driving your Pulse or Amy Ford Edge to spring training, you're going for the long haul, you're taking the trip, you've got the biggest sunroof of your life, where are you stopping to eat once you get there? You're tired, been a long drive, people are going out of spring training, where do they have to eat while they watch the Cardinals in spring training? Well, I mean, those are, if I'm going for a quick bite to eat after a long drive, I'm pro, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm hitting a hurricane. Wings and grill. Hurricane uh, wings? Yeah, hurricane wings. Ooh. Yeah, hurricane wings and grill, and you can drink a hurricane while you're there. Uh, I don't know. After about you're that. done driving, of course. Right. I don't know about that, but they have uh, they have pints there that they put water in and then other beverages. Water and juice. So, yeah, good. Um, hey I, Ben, I definitely airport. going to wings. We're taking be- we're taking Derek to the airport. Over I here. better get over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, definitely going for wings. Quick bite. They also have garlic parmesan fries, which are addictive. So you gotta have to kind of. Monitor your intake. Yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous now that you're saying that because I, I'm an addictive fry eater. Oh right, yeah, no, yeah. these things are they're 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 delectable. So if I'm going for a quick bite, uh, I don't think I'll make it um, on this first trip down when they're open. Um, okay. Alas, that might have to be the uh, next day. Dinner. All right. Well, you heard it from Derek Gould. Get fat at Hurricanes. No, you can you know, walk there, man, and walk it off on the way home. Oh, I think that's how it works. The yeah, weather yeah. will be nice. Oh, be good. Yeah, well, good point, good point. Bring a bike, man. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks for joining us in Two Bends. Oh, it's been a pleasure. The car, Derek. So much fun. Paul Cerami Auto Group, the cheaper dealer. Now exclusively offering lifetime maintenance with every new and pre-owned purchase.